Well, aside from the water, one of the other things that people are still dealing with, of course, is the power situation. Mm -hmm. Lots of people still without power today. We wanted to check in with Entergy <coughs> Louisiana and Lee Sabatini on the phone at this hour to see what the current situation is. Lee, thanks so much for joining us. What can you tell us hi, about Karen, how hi, many Katie. people? Are, hi, how are you doing? <laughs> good, good. <laughs> um, what can you tell us about the number of people who are still without power at this point? Right now, we have a, a little more than 66,000 customers out across the state, and that's actually down from a peak of earlier this afternoon of 80,000. Um, so we're making progress as the storm continues to move through. Our highest concentration of customers out um, are still in the in the Terrebonne Parish area, uh, where we had seen some significant flooding, and in Baton Rouge, where uh, we still have some really high wind gusts that have uh, cause some trees to come down and some taking down some power lines with them. Other than ter uh, Terrebonne, in the New Orleans metro area, where are you seeing, uh, about how many would you think we had? We actually have 1,200 people out in uh, Orleans, which is great because just an hour ago we were at 3,300. So those numbers are coming down good, we're uh, coming down quickly. We're actively restoring in those areas. We have a uh, you know, we were challenged by the wind. You know, we, um, our bucket, our crews cannot go up in a bucket truck if the wind is over 30 miles per hour. It's for their safety. We want to make sure, just like as our customers are safe, our crews are safe. Uh, and sending them up in a bucket truck in the high wind is, is just not a safe situation for them. So we were challenged earlier uh, with some of those high wind gusts and sustained winds. So now that those have died down in the Orleans area, um, in southeast Louisiana as a whole, uh, we're able to get in there and assess any damage to the equipment and repair what we can. Uh, so we'll continue to see those outage numbers come down. And leave the storm's not over yet for us, so right. you know there's still there's still the northern part of the state, and the storm still has to pass through. So we're still seeing some some remnants of it. Um, you know, it, it's still a tropical storm. So Baton Rouge and Lafayette and that area is still going to see some. Some, some potential issues uh, from the storm. What about Jefferson Parish? We spoke with uh, Parish President Mike Yanni earlier, and he said he had about 6,000 in his parish. That was, uh, you know, probably an hour and a half ago, uh, and presumably many of those are in Grand Isle. But what about the, what is the extent of the, uh, the outages there? Well, you're absolutely right. Uh, we have about 4,900 customers out in Jefferson, and the majority of them are Grand Isle. Our challenge with Grand Isle has been the flooding, um, which is, has, has really caused some delay in our crews getting in there and assessing what sort of damage, uh, if any, to the equipment we have. And, and once we can get through those floodwaters and once it's deemed safe, uh, we're going to go and restore those customers as well. Are there any other areas that you guys think um, are going to be a top priority for you in the next several hours? Are, are you, I guess it sort of sounds like you think that you're on the, on the declining end in terms of people having their power go out at this point. Well, fingers crossed. I mean, there's still a tropical storm in the state of Louisiana. Uh, we still have some way to go, some ways to go, a couple of hours left. Um, it's hard to predict uh, what, out, what areas will be hit um, from this point on. You know, we're getting into parts of the state that see a lot more vegetation, a lot more trees. These high winds have been a challenge for us while they're, they're bringing down some of those power lines uh, because of the falling branches and the falling trees. So it's a little too soon to, set, to tell what we'll see in the rest of the state. But as the storm continues to pass through and our crews continue to assess damage and repair, we'll see the southern part of Louisiana uh, be restored over time. All right. Elise Abatini with Entergy Louisiana, thank you for the update. Mm -hmm. Thank you for having me. Have a great night. Stay safe. Thank you. You too.